What's up guys, Hong here, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, how to get good at judo really fast. Okay, so the way you would get good at judo really fast, especially, and this is more for adults, okay, than it is for, you know, kids, private lessons. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Here's the thing with judo. When you start off when you're uh, older, okay, it's, um, it's scarier. It's scarier because you're being thrown, so you have to learn how to break fall, and it's not a natural thing. When you're a kid, you're feel it, fearless, and you're closer to the ground, so it's no big deal if you fall, you get back up, and you, you usually learn how to play games more than anything else at the beginning when you're, when you're really young. Uh, and then after that, they, they progress you into it. Right? So as an, and you have more time and you have nothing else to do. But as an adult, private lessons are ideal. Now, what do I mean by that? Like, why would it benefit you to take private lessons? Because if you do that, then first of all, you learn how to break fall. That's like the most important thing. And then from there, you learn how to do the techniques correctly. So by learning how to do the, correct, the, the techniques correctly from the get-go, okay, you won't have to go back and undo them because it takes more time to undo bad habits than it is to you know, just take the time at the beginning to get corrected, do it right, and then just practice it, right? Because if you're, because when you're in a class setting, the problem is that um, usually in judo, there's about one coach for every 10 students. That's the way it's supposed to be. But sometimes, uh, if there's not assistant, uh, 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 an assistant coach there that could help out, okay, so there's like one coach for like 20 to 30, you know, uh, students. So now the problem is that uh, the, the instructor will show you the technique, but then you might not you know, you might not have grasped it completely. You might have lost out on a little detail that's really important. And then you'll just be going at it, practicing the technique, the movement, the uchikomis, and you'll do thousands and thousands and thousands of reps over months and months and months, and then you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> and then by the time the teacher catches like your mistake and he tells you, well, you have that imprinted like in, in, into your psyche, into your, into your body of how to do that movement. So then, now you have to undo that and that's that's hard you know and the other advantage is that if you learn how to do things correctly from the beginning then you're going to improve so much faster also learning how to break fall correctly and of course addressing bringing this issue up with your coach telling explaining to him that hey you want to train but you want to be safe but you want to improve uh you know mm, at a well as fast as possible you know it's it's gonna be important for them to explain to you how not to get hurt. Because sometimes they might notice, but they might just not have the time or thought about explaining to you like certain things in regards to safety and how you should, um, how you should train, how you should like uh, switch up on the intensity here and there um, when it comes to you know, training judo. Because judo is pretty hard on the body, guys. Like, uh, you know, I started when I was 36. And yeah, I got, uh, I got a couple of injuries now <laughs> due to that. I got my shoulder that's all messed up. I got my knees, eh, both of them, you know, messed up. I got my lower back messed up. So, oh, I got my ankle messed up too. And my neck is probably a temporary thing. Anyways, okay. So learning how to fall properly, right? And then from there, learning how to um, train properly and rest properly, learning how to take a fall. That's really important. Because the thing is, if you, if you just, <clears throat> if you're afraid of falling or if you resist when it's not the right time to resist, yeah, you have a higher chance of getting busted up than if you just take the fall. But for you to take the fall, you have to be comfortable taking a fall, right? And sometimes that, that you need time and you need practice. So that's why taking private lessons with the coach, right? You can address all these issues and you can progress so much faster. So that's why private lessons, in my opinion, is the safest way, because it's gonna keep you safe, right? Then you're gonna be able to train more often and you're gonna be able to progress faster just because you're not injured. That's the, you know, that's the gist of it. Because if injuries is like the plague of you know, every single athlete and uh, martial artist, right? Uh, well, not, not the ones that don't do any sparring, <laughs> but the ones who do. Injuries is a real thing, man. And um, 
and it can slow down your progression and it can sometimes turn you off from the sport too because you're just like man i can't i can't deal with this i can't afford to get injured and so on and if you're a person uh, that can't afford to get injured then privates is the way to go and not to say that you can't uh you can't join like um you know like a regular class when you're ready but that's what i do with some of my clients is where that i train them in private and then when i feel they're ready right so that they're then i'll integrate them with a couple of guys that i know very well who aren't gonna like just go crazy on them and then we train together and then after that eventually they can uh, integrate a class but by the time they integrate a, uh, a regular class they're already super well trained uh, in terms of what to do, what not to do, what to watch out for, what to be careful with, so on and so on. And like they just understand so much more coming in. They have so much more tools at their disposal to handle all types of different situations. So they'll have more fun and at the same time, they're not gonna get busted up. Because the last thing that you wanna do is get busted up, especially if you can't afford to. Like um, one, of my, one of my clients, he's an actor and he can't afford uh, busted shoulder, busted knee, cauliflower ear, you know, busted up lip because, you know, and all kinds of things. So like I, I teach them grappling privately. So, and then eventually when, when the time is right, then I'm gonna integrate them with uh, a couple of other guys that I train with on a regular basis. And then from there, you know, like, like open mat style, but you know, with the right people. And then from there, I'm gonna bring, it, bring him to a regular class when, you know, he, he's, uh, he's nice and ready. That way, he's not just coming in there and just left to, his own, left to his own device, so to speak. Yes, the instructor's there. Yes, you have other people there. But other, all the other students are there to train themselves too. They're not there to, uh, you know, spend a lot. Their, their focus isn't 100% on you. And the coach, well, if he has like 10, 20 other students, what can he do, right? He, 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 like he'll do the best he can, but I mean, he can't spend his whole time with you either, right? Because everybody has questions. He has to take care of, uh, of everybody. It's just the nature of... Uh, you know, being in a group class. So that's why private lessons, definitely worth it. <laughs> Funny thing I say that, like I never did it. And uh, in retrospect, I, I should have, I should have. But I don't think I, I needed it at that time. My, my situation was a little bit different. But anyways, that's for another video. So that's it guys. Let me know what you think below. Do you think private lessons would benefit you? Have you ever done them? Uh, do you think it's worth it? If it's not worth it, or did you were you able to progress, or is there a system at your school that allowed you to progress really quickly without having to go through that? So let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.